What's good, y'all? L Famous, living my life, not thinking about it twice. Don't be scared to like, subscribe, or share this dope content if you like it. You heard? Let's get it. Let's get it. Now, this joint right here is called K9. A real brother could never die. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Now, right now, I'm talking with somebody that, um, came up with K9, not in the street, but they met each other, I guess in um in, in the juvenile system. But we gonna I'm gonna give y'all my brother A gonna give y'all a little story about the juvenile system and his and his and his friend K9. You heard? What's up A, you there? Nah, what up? What's poppin'? Alright, bro. What's the deal, A man? You know what I'm saying? Sure. How the world treating you, brother? Everything is quiet, man. Uh, all love, everything good, everything steady. Um, mm. Can't complain. I want to shout you out mm -hmm. and uh, salute you uh, for your channel mm -hmm. and uh, the '90s content that you uh, you've given us from uh, New York jail rock stories, mm -hmm. jailhouse stories. Uh, Takes you back to a time of uh, of some some wild moments back in the early '90s. Um, you know, and uh, also here to. Uh, to, to assist you to give K9 his flowers, yes. um, and to kind of uh, give you an idea of uh, who K9 was, um, you know, R.I.P. K9. For those of you who don't know, he passed away last year around October. You know, uh, my man uh, DFY brother got into some uh, so a rough patch in his life, came to, came across some hard times, and ultimately. Uh, was uh, the reason of his passing, mm. uh, but that's uh, we're not going to focus on that. We're going to focus on uh, uh, his life and 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 the loyalty K9 had uh, for the peoples he, uh, he he felt for, who he loved, and his comrades. Mm. I met K9 in Spafford. Spafford is a, a juvenile detention center for 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 people who commit crimes at the age of 15 and younger. It's sort of like a Rikers Island. It's a, it's, it's, it's a reception area where you fight your case uh, if you didn't uh, bond out. Um, you know, a lot of uh, violent offenders are, 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 are housed there. I think Spofford no longer exists. I think they, uh, they kind of uh, have different facilities now in each borough. I think they called Horizon or something like that. Yeah. But that's neither here nor there. Let's go back to Spofford. Yeah. I met Spofford. I, I met K9, I want to say December. 89 mm -hmm. i could be, i could be wrong 89 we we crossed paths uh uh in a new jack house in uh Spalford. what what what, um, what what house was that in Spalford? i i don't remember it might be b1 b2 All like right. one of those things mm -hmm. you know uh in Spalford, Spalford is set up in uh they have like um i don't know they call them houses. They'll have the A house, the B house, the D house kind of deal. Uh -huh. uh, blocks. It's like A house, B, uh, A house, A block, B block, D block, and then within each block, you have a few, a few different units. Uh -huh. So uh, we spent a couple of weeks together. You know, we 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 kicked it. You know, uh, then we went our separate ways. Mm. Um, just so happens that uh, we wind up uh, getting back together on the B side. We want to be B block. You know, I'll say B block so people can understand what that means. Um, we met up back at uh, B block, and uh, you know, K9. If you know K9, K9 is uh, he's with the shits. You so, know, it's a, it's not to cut you off. What year are you talking about, and how old were y'all? Fifteen. We both were fifteen. Mm. And you talking we about maybe late late eighty nine going into ninety. Late eighty nine going into ninety. We were fifteen years old. We were fighting uh we were fighting our cases. K nine at that point he uh I think he was fighting a body mm -hmm. uh, and, and I was fighting an attempt at that point. Mm -hmm. So you know, you understand the mindset. If anybody knows nineteen ninety and eighty nine, ninety, these were some uh some real hectic times in New York City. You know, uh the juvenile systems were exploding, you know, a lot of the, the younger cats were giving it up in the streets and mm -hmm. uh, many of us put a lot of work and pain. Uh, in the street during this time, um, so yeah, so me and K Nine, we 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 got back together. We we fucking uh, you know we uh, we clicked up again. We we we, we became BFY brothers, um, and, and and we just rocked out like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mm -hmm. To a point where 
you know, we were we, we were we, we were active kids into the street element then. So a lot of the shit we went into at that time was violence and and and, and being in the element of earning your stripes in this kind of environment. And uh, K9 was that dude that he, you know he he, he he wore that as a badge of honor. And uh, he was definitely with the shits and he was ready to pop off. People who know K9 know how he give it up. And uh, he, he's an official dude, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Very loyal dude. You know, to a point where, you know, I, I'll share a story with you. All uh, right. We, we were in Sparfit and, you know, Sparfit is nothing like Rikers Island. Rikers Island, you know, it's no holds bar. Sparfit is a little more contained, a little more, a, a lot more less violent, at least when it comes to... You know, uh, uh, shooting people. When I say shooting, I mean cutting people, mm-hmm. cutting stabbing, stabbing. People, shit like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, you, you don't see you don't see that much at, 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 in Sparfit. It does happen, but rare. Mm-hmm. Um, but what 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 rise the same is you know people who run the house. You mm-hmm. know, people who run the house like to claim furniture, <laughs> and that's one of the things we did in Sparfit. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. In Sparfit, yeah. In Sparfit is like you know, uh, if anybody's been to Sparfit, Sparfit is a uh it's it, it's more of like a cell a cell with a, 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 a you living in a cell or a block or a cube however you call your room type of living it's not an open mod where there's beds lined up it's more of everybody has an individual cell mm-hmm. and then there's the day room so a lot of our time we spend in the day room mm-hmm. you know doing mischiefs doing stupid shit whether it's playing spades you know, all kind of car games and all that shit. Uh-huh. One of the things, one of the things where, you know, you knew a dude was official is uh, seating areas. You know what I'm saying? They had surface there. There was either a one-seater where one person is sitting, there was a two-seater, or there was a three-seater. Mm-hmm. And if you were, uh, you know, one of the one of the dudes that was uh, holding the house, you had a three-seater. What mm. did that mean? That meant that cats can't sit on your shit if they don't, you know, get clearance. Hmm. So, 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 like a week or two. So, like a week or two before, before me and King and I got into some beef, we started. The staff started telling us shit like, "Yo, y'all can't be claiming the sofas. Next time y'all claim the sofas, y'all gonna be getting in trouble." Blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. We didn't believe them. You know, they were like, you know, y'all can't be deading people on the sofas. If people want to sit there, let them sit. And we would tell them, yo, this shit is open. People want to sit, let them sit. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that other cats were going to sit on this shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, so, so they got to a point from constantly always like, you know, fucking challenging us and, and, and bumping heads with us, the staff. You know, one morning when we were when we were all getting up in the morning, we used to always come out and put our little, you know, our little uh, towel or cloth on our sofa because once once we all check to the day room, everybody's gonna you know clean their seats and go to sleep. Mm-hmm. So one day, so one day, K9 went there and he, you know, wasn't you know hearing any of that shit staff was saying, and he, you know, he went right to sleep on his uh, on his three seater, his sofa. He had a little three seater. We all had three seaters there. Mm-hmm. At least the dudes that, that that were fucking running the house. Mm-hmm. The way you got a three seater is you wanted the live cats there, and it's a pecking order. Uh, you know, if a live cat was there and either he bailed out or he got sentenced and pushed out, the next dude in line will will, will take what's available. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's up to them to to defend it. Should someone want it? You know what I'm saying? So that's the type of time we want. Little stupid shit, but you know, little shit that that count in this kind of environment. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, you're trying to earn stripes and build stripes at that point. Um, so one day, anyway, I go back. One day, came nine in and I was like, man, fuck this, man. I'm, I'm going to sleep on myself, but fuck what this staff is saying. Sure enough, one day it was him, me and, my, and a couple of other my mans. Uh, we, we were out on the day room first, uh, you know, ready to go to sleep. It was like seven in the morning after wake up type shit. So K9 went to sleep one day and, 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 and for whatever reason, fucking staff <laughs> staff flip canines fucking sofa with him in it <laughs> you know, y'all couldn't believe it they just like flipped his shit and they started you know they just went at him so K9 being my DFY brother at that point with my other mans we popped with K9 you know what I'm saying how you gonna mm-hmm. sit there and fucking just flip my man's shit on it like that you know what I'm saying now oh, tell me this saying, before you go on tell me this the staff had a had they used to put their hands on the kids a lot in there. All the time. 
mm-hmm. all the time. Not the first, that day wasn't the first time I put hands on, on, on staff there. I think that might have been the third time I, I put hands. Staff right. was quick to like just hook off, you know, and anybody mm-hmm. that was in the empire, anywhere from December 89 to fucking the day we left there in summer of, of, of 90, um, you know, staff was known for trying to Debo catch, you know, trying to, you know, muscle up on us. You know, we were young, we were younger than mm-hmm. the kids there, you know. In the grand scheme of things, and and staff would try to straight up, you know, uh, you know, strong arm us, and we mm-hmm. weren't with that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so anyway, long story short, they flip canine shit. We fucking we shake shit up because of that, and they pack us up and send us to the island. And mm-hmm. that's when uh, me, canine, and two of my other brothers. The funny shit, <laughs> the ill shit is, uh, we were all from Brooklyn. Canine mm-hmm. was playing with a bunch of Brooklyn cats. All right. Um, yeah, 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 to hear that, uh, you know, he, he was a part of some old crazy shit on the island, mm-hmm. a borough shit, when, when the dudes he was riding with were from Brooklyn. Uh, mm-hmm. it, it, it's a funny shit to hear, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, <laughs> so you know, we get, to, we get to the island. Now we're in the island. Four of us. We're four deep on the island, Sparfit. You know, and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, we hit Mar 6. We hit Mar 6 as a unit. We were already bidding at that point. We were already eight months in, nine months in at that time, give or take. Because I think we were in the end of the summer. We we got packed up and shipped to, and shipped to the island. Um, yeah, so, so so you know, we, we were kids. All you do is hear about shit and spoff it about the island or from your co-defendants or whatever who are older. That I, the island is where it's at. If mm-hmm. you want to get busy, if you want to live in that element, if you if, if you're about letting your gun bust, that's where you want to be in that era, in that element. So uh, don't mean to glorify, don't mean to glorify the, the environment we were in then, but the reality is that's what we strive to be is, uh, you know, the best fucking demon we could at that time. It was some crazy way of thinking we were doing back then. I know, you know what you're uh, talking about with the thinking because I never been to Sparfit, and um, one time me and my friend, my my friend G O D God, you know what I'm saying? He been to Sparfit before, you know what I'm saying? At this time. And he came home one day, and he came home one time, and he was like, he was telling me all the war stories about him fighting in Sparfit over his snacks and everything else, and this and that and that and this. And he was telling me how he was fighting in DFY too. So we we were so crazy. We was like, yo, we got so hyped with it. We was like, yo, let's go outside, let's do something, get ro- get do a robbery, get caught. And go to Sparfit. Like our mom was so screwed up that we was going. We went outside to do a robbery, but it started raining. So so we, it kicked in. Like yo, what the hell is we doing, B? You know what I'm saying? Like we about to we about to do something and, and purposely get caught. That if that ain't the dumbest thing in the world, it, yo. But that's how we was thinking just to go to Sparfit, just so we could fight and rep off. You understand what I'm saying? So I know what you're saying about. Um, um, leaving Sparfit and going to Rikers Island and having that type of mentality of wanting to rep off. You know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of us came up with that type of mentality, and it it was sick, and it's sick. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's it, it's a, it's a it's a foul way of thinking. However, um, that that's just how we moved in Brooklyn back then. It was the mm-hmm. underworld. The kids that were being raised in the underworld, um, we wore that shit as a badge of honor to sit there and 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 to catch wreck, the way we used to call it back then, catch wreck. Or like when we used to do shit in uh, Midtown or whatever, we used to be like, yo, we going out tonight. Oh, you going out tonight? Yeah, we going out tonight. That, 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 that was our little way of saying that we were going to go and catch wreck. And you're right, man. It, 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 it's, a, it's a fucked up way of thinking. Um, and, and, and that's why I salute to you mm-hmm. on this platform and other cats who who are sharing these stories and giving flowers to those who are alive and to those who are no longer with us because uh, motherfuckers can say what they want to say. Uh, but if you grew up in the 90s and DFY or, 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 or a young gunner back then, mm-hmm. a little older than 15, 16, a lot of us are still dealing with this trauma, son. Yep. So when I hear your stories and other people's stories, it takes me back because I don't have an outlet to share my story with. And it's counterproductive in my healing process because if I can't let my story go, how am I gonna let these feelings go 
when something doesn't feel right. Because you mm. know how we were when we were younger? We're impulsive. We're ready to fucking go. We don't think we go. But you brought up a good point. Mm -hmm. When when something there stopped, prevented you from doing something, you had five fucking minutes to just think it through, mm -hmm. you were able to suppress your impulsive fucking behaviors. And back then, everything was lit on impulse. You said some stupid shit, impulse. You stepped on the cat's shoes, on the train, impulse. You looked at somebody the wrong way, son, why are you, why are you grilling me? Impulse. Yep. You know, we never, let, we never let our fucking emotions fucking subside because once we fucking impulsive, we just go. So it's funny that you raised that, uh, you know, it took some rain to deter your, your, your thoughts. Yeah. Because when, when we were thinking that back then, we didn't have time to think things through. And most of the time, had we had five minutes to think things through, many of us would not even be in the fucking pen or experience the pen at, the, at those times. It's the, the situations um, that we experience. Yo, it, it, it's wild. So uh, shout out to, 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 to platforms like you and, you know, the St. Laz and, mm -hmm. and, and, and the fucking lines and mans of, yeah. of, of, of the YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. um, you, guys, you guys are bringing some strong content. Yeah. And uh, salute to you guys for giving people their flowers mm -hmm. um, and keeping the record straight. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I, I reached out to you, uh, because uh, not only to, uh, to to help assist you with Canine Story and delivering his flowers, but also to correct the record, you know what I'm saying? Yes, to collect, you, correct the you, record. Yeah, because when you start bouncing around to all these YouTube channels, um, and because it was uh, all these, the 90s was fucking 32 years ago, son. Mm. Like, how crazy is that, yo? Like, fucking 1990 is 32 fucking years ago. I know, right? So it makes us feel old. Yo, yo, for 30, for 30, Man, I don't even feel old years, like that. Yo, I, I don't feel old like that. My body does, but not my mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, exactly. So, 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 so when you hear the other platforms and you're trying to connect the dots because you were there, there's sometimes uh, some information needs some clarity because there are times where just because of human error, you can forget shit, you can misrepresent shit, you can confuse shit, and... I wanted to to, 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 to to just give you what I know and my personal experience and my truth to who K-9 was. Mm -hmm. So uh, shout out to y'all, man, for, 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 for this Jailhouse Rock content. From That's, the 90s. And shout out to and, shout out to what what to anybody that don't know what A is talking about. This is what A is talking about. A is talking about uh it was an episode on St. Laz where Fruquan said that he cut K-9. You know, I think I think he said he cut K nine on the um visiting floor, right? And um something like that. And and um A A was with K nine and before that and after that. And you said that you was with K nine after that in DFY and he showed you his cut and he told you who may have cut him, right? Yeah, so 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 here's the story. All right. Um I guess I'll throw the names out there because uh, whatever we're, we're correcting the record. All right. Um, shout out to Saint Laz and, mm -hmm. and, and and to keep and, and to keep the funky. I reached out to Saint Laz on that video and I mm -hmm. let him know. Mm -hmm. um, so he could he could confirm that too. Mm -hmm. I hit him on his IG on that mm -hmm. just to let him know that uh, the story being told about K nine uh, the, the timeline may have been uh, been uh, cloudy. Mm -hmm. of, of the events that that, 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 that took place with K9. Mm -hmm. So I so when we came, when we were on the island, uh, like I told you, we were four deep already. So All right. you know, we, we, we moved as a unit. So strength in, there's always strength in numbers, especially on Rocky's Island. You know what I'm saying? So we didn't know that quite yet because we were still fucking anxious and, and, and our drilling and pumping that we were actually in Rikers Island. To keep it funky it, 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 it we were kind of happy to be there. That's some sick fucking shit, son. We were like, yeah, we here, we here, you know. Uh, so what happens when we get there? We get to the island and and, and, and we hit March 6th. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it was March 6th. March 6th is the one that's all the way at the end, right? Yeah. On the island, like, like all the way at the end. Both of the new jack houses is all the way at the end. March 5 is all the way at the end on one side and March 6 is all the way at the end on the other side. Yeah, yeah, so we were, we were on the Mar 6 and where Mar 6 north side was New Jack, Mar 6 then, 1990, 
uh, was the drug house, the South Side. Mm, South how about side, yeah? If, if you were in a drug program, you were on that side. Mm-hmm. So you know, like like what it is, you know, we're fucking, we're in an island, we're we're we're, we're fighting our cases. Uh, we, we're not knowing at that point uh, if we were gonna, you know, face big numbers or not. It looked like we were facing some big numbers, you know. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So with that kind of attitude, we're just like, we don't give a fuck. Whatever pops off, pops off. So naturally, you know, we, we our house was cool. It was New Jack house, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But because we were four deep, we were able to set our imprint in there. You know, we had slot time. You know, uh, uh, you know how the shit runs. We, we, we had our section in the back. You know, back then, the live cats sat, lived all the way in the back of the mod. Mm-hmm. These were mods. By the way, mod six is mods. They're not cells. They're like a bunch of beds lined up in mm, rows. Don't. So I think you can get anywhere from forty to sixty beds on each uh, each mod, each side. So I'm not sure if, what the exact number is. So if any of your viewers out there know for a fact if it's forty to sixty or anywhere in between, yeah, you know, correct it's, it's the forty to fifty. Good. Forty to fifty. Forty to fifty. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So 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 uh, you know how it is. We're just like a big giant day room of fucking young adolescents going buck wow. Mm-hmm. Um, so K9 is K9, you know, he, he always, you know, he, he, he's, he's always with the shits 24-7 when we were locked down. Mm-hmm. Um, no different from Sparfit to the way we were on the island. Mm-hmm. You know, we fucking did our thing there, we shook shit up there uh, to a point where, you know, uh, you know, K9 was ultimately sent to the box. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We, we, we shook some shit down, down there, don't want to mention any names, someone gets cut. Mm-hmm. They fucking they throw the whole north side uh, into the Wyoming pens, and the Wyoming pens, if y'all don't know, there are these holding pens on Rikers Island where um, they're they're small in size. I don't know. I may I want to say maybe what are they like eight by eight cell block? Yeah. You remember what they look like? They're about two or three of them, right? There's only two of them. Hold on a second. Mm-hmm. What, what'd you say? It's two Wyoming pens, right? Yeah, there, there was a few. Yeah, there was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a few, like two, three, maybe four. All right. I know they had a big one, and then they had a they had a little one too. They had two little ones. Yeah, so they, they threw our whole house in two of these little ones, and they were just, you know, I, I, yo, anybody who was in Mark Six in the summer of nineteen ninety. It's another part of the bubble that you can see the rest of the house too. It's just that it'd be dark if you really look at it. It's 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 tinted. The, the windows is tinted, so you 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 know you never pay attention to that. So, but they can see the rest of the dorm. They can't really see in the bathroom. Right, right, right. Like right, right. They can't. So, so, so. Right, right, right. Exactly. So, 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 so. Me and my man, we 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 had uh we had burners there. We had razors. Mm-hmm. We had a few. We, we, we all had a couple. 
How mm-hmm. each actually? Um, so we so 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 there was a collective of us who were like, all right, let's throw a couple out there for K nine. Let's let, let's hope that you know his time we can we can bail him out. So we dropped them shits right there, mm-hmm. right by the phones, by the bubble, boom boom. We dropped like two or three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Captain K, Captain says I'm gonna walk out, drop him here, and then I'll come back. He came back and he saw like. You know, they wanted contraband, any kind of contraband, but more weapons. You saw like two, three razors, maybe, and maybe a bag of weed we threw in there. Because mm-hmm. uh, K9 was getting the bag at that point. You know the game. <laughs> so, 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 so we would split the bag up, so if any of us got caught, they won't catch us all. There would be a few, because there was four of us, so we always broke everything up. In case one of us caught, they won't take everything that we had. Or they had, you know, or, or our little click hat. Mm-hmm. So, 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 Captain comes out. He's like, "All right, boom." He took what he took, you know. Um, he walked away. He came back like two days later, I think. Two days later. Yeah. He said, "Canine was was hit with the person who got touched. He got those days. You guys reduced this time to thirty days in the box." Mm. So we're like. All right, we can take that because at that point, if you cut somebody, they weren't charging people back then. Yeah, I know it wasn't no cut, new ones. If, if you cut somebody, the phones were free from click to click. Whenever they came out, I don't know, ten, eleven in the morning, they would be they'll be out to like ten at night or some shit like that. Don't remember. Mm-hmm. Uh, I heard now that they're different. They're like six minutes and uh, six minutes to the click, and that's it. Or some shit like that. Six minutes, Dougie Fresh, you get or whatever. However they do it. Um, yeah, so, 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 so we got him 30 days. I wind up getting packed up and sent out part of that shit that we did. Because uh, T9 touched someone and then, you know, another shit, La. Uh, la. Mm-hmm. No one talks about 190 water, yo. <laughs> that's what happened. That was, the, that's what, that that, was that, the easiest, that was the easiest weapon to get your hands on if you didn't have nothing. What I mean by 190 water is the water, the, 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 the drinking fountains used to have this the hottest water that comes out and yeah, shit, they did, we used too. to use to dunk our cookies in shit we used to you know we used that to warm shit up yeah to warm things crazy. everything up it was some crazy shit I'm having flashbacks right now so wow shit <laughs> so anyway mm-hmm. I got packed up they packed me up because part of that what happened is uh you know I we used 190 water too to do what we were doing mm-hmm I got shipped to uh, Mar 9, uh, Northside, Murder Mar 9, straight up Brooklyn House. Mm. Official cats there. It 1990. Was, uh, 1990 summer, Mar 9, Northside was a Brooklyn house. And more so, not even just the Brooklyn house, but it was a Fort Green BCEP house. When I say BCEP, I meant Decepticons. Back in the days in late 80s or early 90s, mm. uh, uh, Brooklyn had this crew called the Decepticons, and they used to, you know, run rampant through Brooklyn. You know, they were they, they were highly regarded as a force back then. Mm-hmm. Um, naturally so, when they got to the island, uh, you know, they, they had, oh, now it was a Brooklyn house. Mm-hmm. Uh, not too much action going on there because it was quiet because a lot of the dudes who ran the house were, they knew each other from out in the world. They had like the, the whole team there. Mm-hmm. And I think Little Rumble was there. I think uh, this dude named uh, Hookoff, uh-huh. another dude named Moe, a few cats, some fellow official dudes, they weren't blasting nothing in the house. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and, they, and, and, and at that point, I don't think the Brooklyn uh, Bronx were popped off yet because there was no static like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. At least at that point. All right. Um, so, 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 I got a funny story too about, uh, about Mar 9 and K9 that I'm going to tell you guys in, in, in a few, once I get to that. Mm-hmm. So anyway, so because we were fighting our cases at that point, um, 